Hello. Welcome to our series, Go Guided with Atomica. In this case, our patient wants to replace his upper first molar, but as you can see, there is a severe vertical bone resorption. So, Dr. Tony, how would you plan for this case? Hello, Sarah. Yes, as you mentioned, there is severe bone resorption without enough space to place an implant while preserving the maxillary sinus integrity. So what I prefer is to go for an open sinus lifting with buccal ridge augmentation. And using Atomica Guided Suite, I'll design a sinus window guide that will allow me to place the implant and do the sinus lifting using one guide. Oh, and how will you do this? To design the sinus window, we need to have the 3D reconstruction of the bone CT as an STL model to adjust the guide on it. So, I'll start using the segmentation app to convert the CT DICOM into an STL file. First, I'll adjust the threshold of the mask so that it will be almost marking the bone only. Then I'll start manual editing for the desired bone area. Now let's convert the mask to a 3D model. And here is it. We'll take this and head to the planner app. As you can see, the bone model is automatically loaded and matched. I'll load the intraoral scan model now, which will also be automatically matched. Yes, perfectly matched. Next, I'll add a virtual crown to guide me through implant positioning. In this case, I'm using BioHorizon's internal tapered system, and although it has a short implant 7.5, I prefer to use a standard one, which is 9 by 4.6. Positioning the implant, and as you can see it violating the sinus but no worries, lifting and grafting will keep it safe. Add the guide sleeve. I'll also use the BioHorizon system and I'll adjust the offset to implant placement control. I'll generate the beautifully detailed Atomica's drilling report. And now we can head to the design app directly from the planner to design our guide. As you see the plan and the model are automatically loaded to the design app. First I'll start designing the implant placement guide as usual. How did you block the model undercuts? It's automatically blocked. Now we'll have to show the bone model and set the guide to the wireframe mode to see through it. As the normal process of designing a guide, I'll draw the sinus guide area on the bone model. Then I'll crop the unnecessary parts like that. Using the Boolean operation, I'll union the sinus part to the main guide. Then make sure that the model holes are filled for more accuracy. I feel I can trim this excess area. Now let's open the sinus window. I'll use the cropping tool to draw the window. And here is it. As you can see, the design app facilitates designing whatever you want through seamless steps. I'd love to also open an inspection window through the guide to ensure its optimum seating. And the guide is now ready for printing. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. Tony. And now, how would you plan for this case? 
share with us and go guided with Atomica.